Good morning, and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We pray that you are in good health. We ask that all, during the ongoing pandemic, continue to use hand sanitizers and maintain a distance of two meters. Masks are recommended, but not mandatory. Our presider this morning is Archbishop Hunt, and our gathering hymn is number 531 in the Catholic Book of Worship, For the Beauty of the Earth, number 531, first and last verses. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Our Mass this morning is being offered for the intentions of Jamie Smith, Bernice Call, and deceased family members, and Florence Roster, Ro Ross, Roster for the, that we may worthily offer our prayers for these intentions and for all of the intentions that we bring to this Mass. Let us pause to call to mind God's goodness and to ask forgiveness for our sins. God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpassed the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Stand in the gate of the Lord's house 
and proclaim there this word and say, Hear the word of the Lord, all you people of Judah, you that enter these gates to worship the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Amend your ways and your doings, and let me dwell with you in this place. Do not trust in these deceptive words. This is the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. For if you truly amend your ways and your doings, if you truly act justly with one another, if you do not oppress the alien, the orphan, and the widow, or shed innocent blood in this place, and if you do not go after other gods to your own hurt, then I will dwell with you in this place, in the land that I gave of old to your ancestors forever and ever. Here you are, trusting in deceptive words to no avail. Will you steal, murder, commit adultery, swear falsely, make offerings to ba Baal, and go after other gods that you have not known, and then come and stand before me in this <coughs> house, which is called by my name, and say, we are safe, only to go on doing all these abominations? Has this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your sight? You know, I too am watching, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm refrain is Blessed are those, blessed are those who live in your house, O Lord. Rather 
doorkeeper in the house of my God than live in the tents of wickedness. Blessed are those, blessed are those who live in your house, O Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus put before the people another parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to someone who sowed good seed in his field. But while everybody was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and then went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, Then the weeds appeared as well. And the slaves of the householder came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where then did these these weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. The slaves said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he replied, No. For in gathering the weeds, you would uproot the wheat among, along with them. Let both of them grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time, I will tell the reapers, collect the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned. But gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Today's psalm speaks about the glory of God's house, and the people of Jeremiah's time were very much aware of the glory of God's house and felt that they were secure in it. And the Lord sent the prophet Jeremiah to say, no, 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 you're not secure in my temple just because it's my temple. If you wish to be secure here, you must live with integrity. You must live in such a way that it is appropriate for you to be in the house of God. And if you do not live in such a way, I will leave this temple. Uh, Probably the most ominous words in that first reading today is, you know that I too am watching, says the Lord. He is watching. He is aware of who we are and whether we live with integrity or not. In the gospel passage today, Jesus speaks about weeds being sown among the wheat And in our lives, we too have weeds. We have sins, we have weaknesses, we have things we need to work on. And the challenge for us is to work on those things, to to root them out, to seek in our lives, to draw closer to the Lord, to live with that integrity that makes us worthy to be in the Lord's house, that makes us truly appreciative sons and daughters of the Lord who has called us into his family. As we continue in our Mass today, let us ask the Lord to help us that we might see ourselves as he sees us, that we might be aware of areas in our life that need work, and that we may seek day by day to work in those areas so as to show truly our appreciation of his love by the way we seek to live that love ourselves. (laughs) 
Jesus has assured us that wherever two or more are gathered in his name, he is present in their midst. With confidence, let us stand and offer to our Heavenly Father our prayers of petition. We pray for our Pope as he prepares to come to Canada. We pray for God's strength and guidance for him in his journey to our country. For this, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all those people that he will address when he is here, when our Pope is here. We pray especially for our indigenous people and for those who have been wounded uh, by residential schools and, and by hurt or, or any failure on the part of the church. We pray for God's healing grace for them. For this, we pray to the Lord. We pray for ourselves and for all who have received the gift of faith that we may seek day by day to live that faith worthily and with integrity. For this, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all the sick and suffering, for all those who are struggling with any type of persecution or oppression or woundedness or sin, that in the midst of their trials, they may feel God's presence and his grace at work within them. For this, we pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith, that they may have eternal rest with God in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Let us pause for a moment to bow our heads and offer our own personal intentions. For all of these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear the prayers that we offer you this morning both those we have spoken aloud and those that are in our hearts, for they are offered through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we should always give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you do not cease to spur us on to possess more abundant life and being rich in mercy, you constantly offer pardon and call on sinners to trust in your forgiveness alone. Never did you turn away from us, and though time and again we have broken your covenant, you have bound the human family to yourself through Jesus your Son, our Redeemer, with a new bond of love so tight that, can it, that it can never be undone. Even now you set before your people a time of grace and reconciliation. And as they turn back to you in spirit, you grant them hope in Christ Jesus and a desire to be of service to all while they entrust themselves 
more fully to the Holy Spirit. And so filled with wonder, we extol the power of your love and proclaiming our joy at the salvation that comes from you, we join in the heavenly hymn of countless hosts as without end we acclaim. from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your Spirit that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love, for your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom, until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saint Bridget, and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters whom we commend to your mercy. 
then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. baptism we are God's children and so with confidence we can pray our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us Lord we pray from every evil Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion for those viewing online and for those who cannot receive Holy Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, for you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For the reception of Holy Communion, we ask that people from the side sections come to receive Holy Communion first. Please maintain a two-meter distance in the communion line 
and please sanitize your hands before receiving Holy Communion. If you cannot receive Holy Communion, you are welcome to come forward for a blessing. Our communion hymn is number 604 in the Catholic Book of Worship, Seed Scattered and Sown, number 604. Scattered and sown, wheat gathered and grown, bread broken and shared as one, the living bread of God, fine fruit of the land, wine work of our Shared by all the living cup, the living bread of God. Seed scattered and sown, wheat gathered and grown, bread broken and shared as one, the living of God, fine fruit of the land, wine work of our hands, one cup that is shared by all, the living cup, the living bread of God. The bread we break, a sharing in our Lord. Is not the cup we bless, the blood of Christ outpoured? Seeds scattered and sown, wheat gathered and grown.
Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. I invite you to join with me in praying the prayer of Pope Francis to Mary for help and protection during the coronavirus pandemic. O Mary, Mary, you you always always shine shine in our our path path as a sign of salvation salvation and of hope. We entrust entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping keeping your faith faith firm. firm. You, salvation salvation of your people, people, know what we need. We We are sure you will provide, so so that, as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under your protection we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn is number 517 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Lord Jesus, we must know you, number 517. Jesus, we must know you if we would make you known. For how can we pray? 